Hi there and welcome back. Sometimes only soundproofing is a guarantee for a good night's sleep. So let's get started. Back on the building site. And back to the guest bedroom waiting to be finished. And this episode starts right away with an excuse. I do apologize for these black stripes running down your screen. But I can blame it completely on Laszlo. A couple of weeks ago he took my studio lights to produce a tutorial video for his employees and these lights never found their way back to the building site. Instead I'm trying to help myself with some LED construction lights that my GoPro camera isn't compatible with. If these running stripes irritate you, you can jump directly to 3 minutes and 45 seconds where it stops. But you would miss out watching me spray painting. Last time I sprayed the first coat of primer, this time the ceiling gets two coats of satin white paint. But I'm going to ease you past watching this second coat, because it really would be too annoying to watch. I think it looks way better in white paint as it did before in dark brown. What do you think? Leave me a comment. When I started plasterboarding the room, due to cost reasons I used these thin plasterboards. But that was when our neighbors did not have this terribly annoying dog. And although I'm going to add an insulated second wall on the outside of the bedroom, as I did on the other walls as well, this might not be enough to soundproof the bedroom. That's why I've decided to add a second layer of plasterboard, so that our guests can sleep longer and Laszlo can play piano without headphones as he wants to put his electric piano into this room as well. 
I've started with half a sheet to get an overlay for the different joints. As I said, our neighbors now have this terrible yapping dog and normally I am pretty much a dog person, but this one taught me to hate him. To be fair, nobody trained him to simply just shut the front door, but anyway, measures have to be taken. And soundproofing is the answer. As well, this dog is very often the reason why you have to listen to that much music in my videos. Because sometimes it would really just be annoying. So, just grab a cup of coffee, watch me working and listen to this week's music choice. Spring is always the time for changes and to start something new. Now that the trees have gone, as a next project after the bedroom I definitely have to build something to hide our neighbor's ugly construction. And hooray! My studio lights are finally back! As I said, spring always brings changes. These lights are especially developed for camera usage and although they are LED lights as well, they don't interfere my cameras. by construction site flood lamps and hello to another night shift. It's quite amazing. I mean, this is a very tiny room, but it's got two doors, two windows and chimney. 
So, plasterboarding isn't necessarily quicker as it would be in a regular house. Especially when you're doing it twice. might look very quick and easy, but what you see is 16 times the regular speed. And on top I cut out all the parts where I'm cutting the sheets down to size. You want to see me plasterboarding in real time? Okay, here we go. I think a little bit of time lapse is more fun.
that's it for this week. See you all next week when we continue speckling and painting. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. <laughs>